The Temple of Olympian Zeus is a colossal temple in the center of the Greek capital Athens. It was dedicated to the Olympian Zeus, the head of the Olympian gods. Construction began in the 6th century BC, planning to build the greatest temple in the ancient world, but it was not completed until the 2nd century AD, some 638 years after the project. Comprising 104 colossal columns, the temple was known as the largest temple in Greece and contained one of the largest cult statues of the ancient world. The temple was sacked during the barbarian invasion in 267 AD. It was probably never repaired and after that it fell into ruins. However, much of the temple remains today. Particularly the 16 original giant columns, and it continues to be part of a very important archaeological site in Greece. Its foundation was laid on the site of an ancient open sanctuary dedicated to Zeus. Construction of the colossal new temple of Olympian Zeus began around 520 BC. E. Temple of Olympian Zeus. Designed by the architects Antistatos, Kalashris, Antimonides and Formos. It would have been surrounded by a double colonnade of eight columns in front and behind and 21 columns on the flanks, surrounding the cella. Only in 174 BC, e. the Seleucid king Antiochus IV Epiphanes, who imagined himself as the earthly incarnation of Zeus, resumed the project and entrusted it to the Roman architect Decimus Cassius. It was only after the accession of Hadrian in the 2nd century AD that the project was finally completed, some 638 years after it began. In 124-125 AD, the Temple of Olympian Zeus was completed. The temple was surrounded by a wall and the area was paved with marble, making it the center of the ancient city. The temple was officially consecrated by Caesar Hadrian in 132. Who took the title, Panellenios, to commemorate the event?